Peace Thunder here, and I wanted to do a quick chakra crystal reading for those with their sun sign that is a fire sign. So your Leo, your Sagittarius, your Aries, you know, th those sorts of signs. I just want to sh throw some stones, see what we get for you. So when I threw these stones for you, the, what, what really came up first and foremost was this is your masculine energy, your root chakra, and your throat. These were thrown off, off the table, off the ground, right? Thrown on the ground. So what that means whenever you're doing any kind of divination, it's like, whoa, let's, let's pay attention to this. Let's really, really, really pay attention to this right here. Um, so what, how I interpret this, right, with your, your root, the throat, and the masculine force being out of balance, this is telling me that you aren't communicating in a very grounded way um, things that need to be said, right? And again, this this is like kind of like setting your boundary. This is kind of like um, sticking up for yourself, right? This is asserting yourself in a masculine manner, okay? Masculine is straight to the point. It's direct. It's, it's a little bit forceful, right? In that way. So again, this is kind of asserting yourself in this way. And this is what applies to any and all situations, right? This applies to pretty much... It can be applied to many things. This could be relationships. This could be friends, coworkers. Maybe people aren't respecting boundaries, right? Again, this is a very kind of drawing the line in the sand type of energetics that needs to happen at this time. And we have to also remember that this this doesn't just apply to you or to others. Sorry, this also applies to you and yourself. So if you need to draw, make a boundary with yourself or make a promise to yourself or really kind of look at some things uh, in a very serious manner with yourself, this is energetic is very strong right now for the month of July for my fire signs. Right now in July, well, there is this, this energetics of overall harmony, right? When I rolled my numerological die, you got the energetics of six. And numerology of six is all about harmony, things being close to the earth, mundane. This is the home, the health, family, money, career. This is a very peaceful energetics. So you look at the number six. Think of it as a person with this top little symbol, with the top of the six being like a head and the, the lower half being like a body. Or their body's low to the ground, low to the earth. Think of very earthy, slow-moving, comfortable energy for July. Which makes sense because July is the element of fire, right? Over here, things get a bit more interesting. So these crystals here, in the center of all of this, right, you have your the heart stone, right? This is your heart. This is your allies, your crown, your feminine energies, your confidence, your solar plexus, your third eye, and your sacral, right? So right now, what kind of is neat is kind of conjuncting right now, what's coming together, is your heart, your insight, and your sacredness. So being centered in your heart is honoring your sacredness. And when you honor that sacredness, it is awakening that third eye to the next level. Things that are a little bit out of balance here, right? This is like um, the confidence in your femininity, right? So even if you're a man or, you know, even if you're, you're a guy, you know, we all have a feminine side. Everyone, everyone has a masculine and feminine side, yin and yang. Everything is dual, Okay. So this is having confidence in your receiving energetics, in your feminine energetics. This is having confidence in your ability to flow and navigate life, okay? Confidence in your feelings, confidence in your intuition. It all connects to this. And if you're a woman, this is having confidence in you, yourself, and that, that divine feminine within you. Now, when you start to connect to this divine feminine, it's going to be opening and activating the, the crown chakra. This is your highest connection to creator. This is a oneness with divinity, all of those things. And when you're there, your allies are going to be coming in and they're really going to be helping you. And when you look at the symbol of these crystals and how they fell, well, to me, this is like an anchor, right? This looks like a, a very clear anchor. So right now, your angels, your allies, and guides, they're wanting you to anchor into these energetics of having confidence in your sacredness, honoring that connection to God, to Creator. Being centered in your heart is going to awaken your third eye and as you honor yourself more, okay? But first and foremost, what needs to be done is really, really, really establishing boundaries, communicating clearly in a grounded manner. Also, this kind of communication, when it comes up with the root chakra, this usually has to do with mundane things. So it could have to do about with your job or your career or your health or your money or where you want to go, where you want to live, right? This is all very physical, physical, physical things that needs to be communicated. 
So, we got six. Let's roll the dice one more time for you. What's the, the next numerology? Oh, what's the next number for you? It fell on two. So six and two, we have eight, right? So the numerology of eight, eight is that, here, let me get it for you. Eight is that, it's that serpent, right? It's that infinity, right? It's the symbol of infinity. It's also heaven and earth, heaven and earth, heaven and earth coming together. Inspiration from heaven comes down to the earth, gets implemented in the earthly plane, goes back to the heaven, manifests more blessings. It's just a cycle, this cycle, this cycle. So it is the cycle of abundance. Now if you take that six and eight together, you have the harmony of the six with that abundance of the eight. So right now, the month of July is abundant financial opportunities coming to you. This is harmony in abundance. So this is just a great message for those in the fire signs. But again, you just, it's really got to focus on the communication, being careful what you say, meaning what you say. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know if this resonates. I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you. Bye.